Jiro, you need to learn to be more mindful of your surroundings. But I'm always aware of what's around me. If I wasn't, then I wouldn't be very good at protecting you. That wasn't really what I was talking about. I don't know how to say this exactly. Do you think that water is strong? Water? Is it strong? I don't know. And the river? I'm not exactly sure what you're getting at. And then what about the ocean? Is it strong too? I guess you could say it possesses a certain kind of strength. But when I think of the ocean, I don't really think of it in terms of strength or weakness. <laughs> when you find yourself facing the ocean, the question of whether or not it's strong doesn't really matter anymore. Water is water no matter where it is. And it's the same with blood, Jiro. That's the nature of who we are. Our true value is not in being the water, but in that we could be the ocean. I think I get it. Good. Can you be the ocean, Jiro? I promise I'll try. you have to be glad about? Your apartment just exploded. I'm glad because my apartment was the only one that got damaged in the blast. I've always complained this building was too old and run down, but I guess the foundation's in pretty good shape. I'm really impressed it's still standing. What? Have you gone crazy? <laughs> Don't cry, Guitar. But I, I can't help it, brother. I feel bad for Mimi. You don't see Mimiko crying, do you? So there's no reason for you to cry either. We'd better go. We can't leave. If we stay, we'll be interviewed by the police, which is more trouble than it's worth. Listen to me, Jiro. We have to go to the company now. I'll report to my superiors and have them deal with this appropriately. And don't worry. Even if my boss says no, I'll find a way. You and Katara will stay here and live in this special zone. I promise, August Wiker, I will carve the ways of the Black Blood into your bones. Never expected August to engage the Silver Blade in battle so quickly. Man, that was a pretty close call. If our cover's blown, we're screwed. It's a good thing I always make a point to prepare for the worst, but with the mess he's gotten into with the Silver Blade, I don't think we can leave August to his own devices. I guess I'll have to ask you to take care of this. I hope you don't mind. Huh? Hey, Yoffery? <laughs> Oh, no, this is not good! If Sis finds out, I... Oh, oh. oh man! Hi. <laughs> hey, Sis, how are you? Haven't heard from you in a while. Thank you for coming. I appreciate your presence here, Miss Katsuragi. I heard about what happened to your apartment. I'm sorry for your loss, but I'm glad to see that you were not harmed. Thank you for the kind words, Chairman. Jean, how have we been handling the media? We told them the explosion was caused by a gas leak, and said that the resident is currently on a month-long vacation in mainland Japan. Mimiko, I'm very sorry. It all comes with the territory when you're a compromiser. Do you have anything you'd like to report to us about the incident? <laughs> I heard the Silver Blade let that idiot August get away. Yes, he escaped by jumping into the canal. He should have cut that rebel fool in half. Talk about sloppy. What kind of attitude is that? What do you mean? He's not my subordinate. So what do I care? <sighs> For this outburst, we must ensure that August Wiker and the rest of his coven pay dearly. 
must also take into consideration how we might prevent another from taking August's place when he's disposed of. Thanks for taking care of it. No problem. intention of accepting the Silver Blade as a resident of the Special Zone. We cannot allow anyone to live here who is constantly surrounded by disorder and chaos. Well then, if that's the case, I'd be more than happy to welcome him into my house. Do you have any idea of the consequences that action would bring upon you? Of course not. I may be older than most everyone here, but that doesn't mean I can accurately predict the future. What an interesting development. You would actually have him join you. Please enlighten us with your reasoning. What can I say? When I met him earlier today, he piqued my interest. And I must say, his little brother's quite a piece of work. I hope you get the chance to meet them. You'll be pleasantly surprised. As a former vampire hunter, I'm sure you've heard the stories of the legendary Silverblade. Hunter? Do not lay a hand on the sage's blood. Or have you forgotten the unwritten law of this land? What a scandalous accusation. I assure you, Zhang, that I have no intention of harming the Sage. Oh, then please tell me why the great Crimson-Eyed Zillman would be so interested in a stripling such as Jiro. What does it matter to you, Kane? Why do you even care? Just answer my question! Don't play dumb with me. You know the reason. Sure, he's the hero of Hong Kong, and he's of the Sage's bloodline, but I'm not interested in any of that. What impresses me is the fact that he killed the Kulong King. Sell me enough! Katsuragi, there's a vampire out there trying to stir up trouble. You're a compromiser, aren't you? So mediate the situation. Jiro Machizuki is your responsibility, so go find him and try to talk him out of this fight. That's an order, Mimiko. Come on, Kataro. We have to go stop Jiro. A sassy one. Tell me, Jedi. What is it? I hear that you're the one who decided to send that girl after the Silver Blade. Did you pick her just because she was the only one available at the time? I don't remember why I chose her. It was before the crack of dawn when I made that decision. I think I was half asleep. <laughs> you sly fox. We're not done here yet. What's that? If there are no objections, I'd like to move on to the main agenda. I thought we were only going to discuss how to deal with the Silver Blade today. Of course, handling him is a delicate issue. 
But there's a more immediate problem at hand, and that problem is this. Who's that? Johan Song. He tried to enter the special zone late last night, and he's a Kulan child. figure out a way to rescue him somehow. Forget about him. You can't mean that. He's sure to get himself killed by Silverblade. He brought it on himself. Poor bitch. Did you say something? No. He may not be able to win, but he'll at least escape by the skin of his teeth. He is my little brother after all. <laughs> I wish I could see the panic on Juro's face. Is that all you care about? All right. I think I'm ready to go in. Please tell me you're just joking. Once you go in, it won't be easy for you to get back out. Kane and Sae have grown complacent during this time of peace. Just you wait. I'll give them the wake-up call they've been needing. What did you say to me? Nothing. Okay, do it. <clears throat> I welcome you to the special zone. Miss Cassandra Jill Warlock. Show them what would happen if they decided to mess with me again. Think I got my point across? Oh, you can't do this! Not here in the special zone! If you want to stay here, you have to stop this right now! I don't think they're going to let me stay here much longer anyway. I'll make them! I promised you that! And I intend to keep my promise. I'm not even sure that we should stay here anymore. What if you had died in that explosion today? Have you considered the chain of events that would have unfolded? <laughs> Both Kane and Say would have been completely enraged. Without a doubt, August and his gang would have been turned to ash and scattered at sea. That would surely strike terror into those who were at odds with the company. And it would have further strengthened the peace in the special zone. All would live happily ever after. It may seem harsh, but you know I'm right. Mimiko, I'd never forgive myself if I was responsible for your death. I hate to say this after all the trouble I've put you through. But it's not right for us to stay. I feel we must leave. For your safety. You can't. Good evening to you, sir. I had a feeling we hadn't seen the last of you yet. <laughs> After studying our intelligence, we've come to the conclusion that arrangements were made for him to enter the special zone. 
There's someone in the special zone who would invite a Kulon child? If a Kulon child were to cross the barrier, would it be at all possible for us to detect it? No, sir. The barrier that I constructed does not have that capability. The barrier doesn't just keep them from entering. It would also keep them from leaving. A Kulon child that somehow makes it in would have no choice but to settle here. Selman! <laughs> Hello? No, I'm still in the meeting. What's that? What are you trying to say? Hey, just wait. Calm down, Sayuka. What happened? That's all for today. Go home and get some rest. Yes, sir. Just let me confirm one thing. You're completely sure that it was August who drank that man's blood. Yes. There's no doubt about it. Got it. Good night. Have the suppression team switch everything over to anti coolon equipment immediately. Yes. Lord Dragon! I feel more powerful now than I ever have. Even when I was first turned. I must confess that I never felt so alive, bastard. Don't tell me you're one of them now. One of who? Don't play dumb. In Hong Kong, I cut down more of you than I care to remember. I've seen this before. There's no mistaking it. You're one of them. Somebody's as I suspected. I see. So this is what it's like to be a Kulon child. Tell me who bit you. But I haven't been bitten by anyone. Liar. Then how? I don't care how it happened. Mimi! <laughs> don't worry. My brother will never lose to a guy like that. I hope you're right. But I've been feeling strange lately and I don't know why. I've got a bad feeling in the pit of my stomach. <laughs> Shall we do a silver blade? history with Kulon children, and I vow to never let a single one escape. It's a shame you were an excellent swordsman. It's not over! You're wrong. It is over. I drank from my own men. What did you just say? As long as this blood survives, then I will be immortal. Then I'll kill them. All. Oh. It looks like August has left me a parting gift. Oh no! Mimiko! Kotaro! Just who are you? 
Pleased to meet you, Jiro Mochizuki. The Kin Killer, hero of the Crusade, and the protector of Old Blood. The brave descendant of the Sage Eve's bloodline. You're a descendant of the Kulon, right? How long? Yes. I am, and my name is Yafari Chow. During the Crusade, I was bestowed with the Kiss of Darkness by the Kulon King's own fangs. I can't wait to see Jiro again. For ten years, that's what she's been saying. My sister, Kasa. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.